Hello everyone, my name is Lothorn and welcome back to Battle Brothers. Now this is going to be an absolutely tedious long battle. It's probably going to take this whole episode's time frame that we have allotted for ourselves today. If it actually launches instead of crashing. There we go, now I think we're hot working. Now that is a lot of undead. And when fighting a horde like this, you don't want to get surrounded. So we are going to run the ever living heck away to position where we can't get surrounded. This looks like a good spot over here for some of our people. But yes, we basically want to fall back. Like, right now. Oh, this is going to take a long time. Well, fashion your seatbelts, ladies and gentlemen, because we've got 3,800 versus nine people, and they come back with life after you kill them at least once, sometimes twice, if there's necromancy involved, which there is. So yes, I hope you've gotten a big bag of something to chew on while you watch the slowest video battle in history, or perhaps some food that's not in a bag, because everyone knows the quality of bag food these days. It was never that good to begin with, and now is absolutely terrible. Okay, we're going to summon a heavy skeleton. Now we're going to try to run away a little bit more here. Uh, we're not that good at running away. If we can get through that gap in the wall, we will be sorted. If we can take this high ground, we'll also be sorted. Now, there is a hole right here that they can slip through, but it will definitely slow them down. So I kind of want to put Mr. Big Old Knight, basically, right at that hole so he can get his big sweeping hits. And these skeleton human bags of bones are basically... Meant to just thin out the horde, hopefully. Get my own horde thinning their horde. And then the hordes will be hoarded. And we'll not have to deal with the hordes. Because they're hoard hordes of hordes. If you get my drift. Oh, she is slow in the initiative. Slower than zombies. My goodness. What a fight. What a battle. What a canoodling. This is going to take forever. Isn't it? This is my life now. Oh, and he doesn't have an AoE attack. Which was very much needed um right you there stand there look important you there stand like right here yeah. yes good ready over here good uh gentlemen you're going to come around this way oh that's a terrible idea actually oh well it's too late now you there come around this way okay yeah yes good 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 and they they've fallen for the bait excellent good my Undead minions can start weakening them. Which is everything according to my plan. Except not really, but I, I like to claim that. Oh, that's that's not good right there. That is not a part of the plan, is them actually having enough initiative to get to get to me. And that's that's very much against the plan. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. Right. I'll be fine. See, watch this. He'll just go cleaver rama. Oh, that's good. Okay. There we go. Thanks for the life, fuckos, and we run. And we can shoot over the wall. Excellent. Pew. Pew. And uh, pew. Research center. <laughs> That's a place. If you if you didn't know, there's a place called the Pew Research Center. Um, okay. There we go, got away. Good. We took a few dinks. It's fine. It's all worth it in the end. I mean, that less enemies can face them. So it's just as planned. Now we need to get this guy around and down over here. Um, and we need her around and over here. And uh, they're going to start pressing up no matter what we do, aren't they? Ooh, we need more undead. Ooh, yes. We do. Because they're... Uh, there's so many of them. My goodness. We're getting overwhelmed already. We're not even surrounded yet. Right. I need you over here for when they start pouring through this little gap over here that's going to appear. It's going to be absolutely awful. So yeah, basically get ready for that. Then we can like, start emaciating these guys. See, they come back, the little annoying gits. You kill them. And they come back. Like, what's, what's even the point? Hey. Well, that's even the point. Okay, summon another heavy here. Boom. Excellent. And arrows away. Um, come on, they're, they're sampling hordes of 
filthy undead. You should be able to take him down a peg or two. Now we, yes, here. Here's the formation we want. Excellent. Now she is not in a brilliant spot, but not in the worst one either. So we're going to try to get our necromancer down over here, basically, to then put a few undead. There's a little roadblock if you if you can make it there in time. Hopefully you can before they start pouring through that little gap down there. I think it's already too late. Although they do seem very distracted. Um, oh, we just need to keep up the arrow fire into them as well. Because that, that lowers their HP pool considerably. Now, conserving our fatigue is going to be very important here. Very important indeed. Oh, I'm going to need a few more skeletons over here. A few more oh, they're already, already breaking through the gap that we've we've left for them. So you're just going to rest up there, and this guy's going to keep trying to hurt them on his little spot here. And we can, like, mace them up a bit. Get everything hurt, get everything injured, get all jiving and jamming. Okay. Now you can just hang there, hang tight. Be a bro. Be a cool dude. Arrows away, archer boys. Um, going to summon another heavy skeleton. Now we're hurt. We're going to get back here and hide. And uh, yo, you're there. Apparently we're a master archer, but we don't have much proof of that. Yeah, oh, yeah, they're, they're really going to start pouring through there, aren't they? It'll still, it'll, it'll be a slower trickle, and it'll, it'll work out in the end. Please, oh, work out. Well, actually, it will just be a slower trickle, so we, we can handle that. And even then, this guy can't get completely surrounded with the wall here, so... We're all, we're all good with that. We're all fine and dandy. We can just start working away on that fine fellow there, and... Well, these guys are definitely a little, a little stuffed up in here. Um, if you could shoot them before they get close to you, that'd be a good idea. Um, because they are going to start, yeah, appearing like right there, which is going to be right annoying for us. Okay, good shooting. Nice shots. All right, and there's no point in moving for those ones. There we go, taking down, taking on dead down, taking names. Your name is Frank, yes? Nice to meet you, Frank. And then we're like, oh, damn, we miss. But we hit with her. That's important. Um, and it's really bad that they've actually made it there. But, um, yeah, we're going to send this guy over here with his pointy stick. Probably should have better weapons than a pointy stick, really. I'm fighting this man dead, but hey, you got to work with what you got, right? Okay. And you're not very injured, so we're going to heal a little bit off you. And offer some support here. There we go. Took it down. Brilliant. Um, more move in. Take some time. Which is perfect for us. And that skeleton's about to go down. These ones are going to get overwhelmed very quickly, yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so once they lose the armor, then we got trouble. And they don't really want to seem to keep pressing against this gap here, which is a little bit of a problem. I mean, they, they do come up to it, but they'd rather just go around for this nice long little walk here, which we don't really want happening now, do we? No, sir. No, sir. Indeed. 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 Oh, you don't even have a second weapon option. Oh, joy. Okay. Well, let us get rid of some undead douchebags then with the efficient methods of decapitation, having passed down generation after generation. From the old undead overlords. Actually, these guys are pretty good undead distractions. Just like dropping a few of them here and they're like, oh, must surround. Grr. We're undead. Okay, yeah, that's her turn wasted. And they are coming back. Not as many, though. We're definitely thinning out their undead numbers. Which is a good thing. Stop a little bit of surrounding there. Uh, you are full health, so use is mine and we'll go on some a medium skeletons right there and there we go another well-placed arrow shot into the undead hordes and I think we're actually doing pretty good 
I think we, we might have this handled. And if it doesn't crash or anything like that, then we, we should win this. If it crashes, then I give up. Um, uninstall the game and delete my computer. But uh, that's only if it crashes, so... Still got time. Uh, oh boy. That's an unfriendly looking fellow now, ain't he? Good, happy I put that there. This little, little guy in the way here. For this shield and weapon and stuff. Okay. Now we can shoot this guy with arrows. Look at the, look at the joke. The yokel. Bam! Okay. And these guys here, they're pretty bad dudes with their decapitators. Although this guy, this is like his... Whoa. How'd that work? Don't know. Don't care. But there uh, he is. This guy's like near his last limbs. But now we got these guys here. Spread them out so the enemy wants to surround them, surround them a little bit more. Bam. Bam. Taking names and taking games. Bam. Now here's the revival of the hordes. Um, which is a annoyance. But we are still in a brilliantly defensible position. Just go up here and go, hey, she not gonna match me. A little bit of HP there. Mm, lovely. We're good here. And the hordes are gonna be ready to move. Yeah, see, very proactive movement coming out from them now. We're going to just stand here and rest up, let a few more press up against it and take a few more down. Same here. We're just going to sit back, relax, and chill. Take a pill, take a chill. Bam, arrow there. Bam, arrow there. We're not going to relax on the bow front, that is, though. Because there's still a lot of undead that aren't pin cushioned. So, we're going to do that. And we're going to do it splendid and skillfully. Now, let me show you how it's done, my friend. It's like this. Bam, bam. Bam and shabam. Move your arrows, too. Oh, this is expensive on my arrow budget. Okay, it's all good. We got him, boys, we got him. Look at this guy go, I mean, take him, horse. That, that's how you get it done. Now, I see a target that just came back. He's looking for a beating. Maybe several. Uh, yeah, we're just going to chill here. Here still, if you don't mind. And I'm going to... Uh... Take a little bit of your hit points. Thank you very much. Oh my, there is so many zombies. There's 13 of them. Actually, we have this equal numbers to them now. Aha! Although this guy doesn't count. He's not really a fighter, so it's all good. Okay. Arrow. Bam. Arrow. Bam. And sword. Bam. Sword. Bam. There we go. We're doing a just fine. And she doesn't have spare arrows. Got to bring more arrows to these fights. You need, like, a lot of arrows in this job, let me tell ya. Oh boy, how did you need arrows? I've used so many arrows, I don't even know how many I've fired. But it's more than ten. And less than eleven. Or almost probably around eleven for some of these people. There they come. Okay. Take down this one that just popped back up. A game of supernatural whack-a-mole. My favorite. Most favoritest of games is a super natural whack-a-mole game. Um, you can just get out of here now. Only shoot these zombies. Preferably not our own. Man, we have done a number to them, have we not? Yes, we have indeed, folks. Numbers have been done to these undead fellows. One more. There we go. Oh, what a snipe. What a shot. What skill, what grace, finesse, style. We are absolutely amazing here. Oh, he's about to go down. And here come the undead. Back from the dead. I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. I assume when you come to think about undead, there's no other place they could come back from. Huh. Well, that's just stupid, then, that statement. Undead, back from the dead. Like, back from the dead. That makes sense, but... I'm dead back from the dead. What? Why oh, are you smoking, Nate? And, uh, where'd you get it? Eh? Can I have some? Hey, okay. You lousy, rot loving. 
bone quafers. I'll get you yet. What are these amazing snipes? Oh, look at that. One more? Okay, maybe not. Here we go. Oh, no. Not enough range. Okay. A little bit of a core staff action going on here. But we have more than quarter our staff left. We got like loads of staff. Check them out. And we go over here. I'm like, ha! That's me. It's me. With number two roundhouse. With a number one roundhouse cut down, knock down, Jim Jam, Yum Yum, Yo Ho Ho, we won! And it only took around 20 minutes. Oh, what lovely loot. Coast a little dry. I need to drink more water. Excellent. Excellent. Yes. Good. Good. Now you... What have you... By people. Spiders. So you need to learn wolves when you get to that point. Good. Good. Yes. You could be a banner. Oh, you're so awful at it, though. Um... I don't know. Why are we... Give him Colossus. Work on that HP pool. A little bit of armor. A little bit of fighting skill. Okay, he's actually a much better fighter than whatever this guy is. Yeesh. Ew. When did we hire this guy? <laughs> okay, well, that is, um... You're quite the fellow, aren't you? Quite the... A worthless fellow. Um, sword staffs and instruments. That's not a sword staff, is it? No, it's two hand puller. Okay. Is the grapple? Oh no. Can you. This? Onslaught? Execute. Why not executioner? Uh, oh wait. We could have gone trading skills. Uh, how do I go back? Cancel. Control Alt Delete. Um. Shoot. Well, it's too late now. We'll get him next time, boys. We'll get him next time. Oh, I feel like an absolute dunderhead. We wanted this thing. Fucker it. Oh well. You live. You learn and you live. Such is the cycle of life. Beautiful, terrible thing. <laughs> it's, it's just the way it is. Crowns well deserved. My folks, crowns well deserved now. All the markets are closed. Port's still open. Whee! Going to risk for the night. Then we're going to wait for the day. Then we're going to get dawn. And we're going like, hey, it's dawn. Hello, Mr. Sun. We're here to say it's a very, very lovely day. Aye, aye. We shouldn't have sold that. We got this right here. Okay, good, 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 good. There we go. And then there's your potential. She's over there. Okay, let's go. This is this. There's a bit of boom, boom, bam, bing, bam, boom, baby. Yeah, we got these rings here, see, but we don't get very okay. Yeah, we'll sell you. Right, excellent, excellent. What's your prices look like? Oh, they're expensive, aren't they? Oh, 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 you're trying to cheat me at the man. But good, sir. Well, I won't fall for it. No, I will not. Who? Cultus. Tasty. And flagellants. I'm not really into that sort of thing, though. Okay, okay. We went to go to Sandholm. You don't mind to Sandholm, my good man. It's the home of the sand. Sandy home. We'll take a job here. I make crowns. All right, I accept. And the nightmares. Oh no. Oh no. Not nightmare ending. Oh gods. That's my least favorite kind of work: is ending people's nightmares. Oh my goodness. Ooh, another merchant. He could be a worthwhile investment. So is a seamstress, though. I have barter skills there, too. 
Do we have any seamstresses? No. Wait, do I? Who are you, lady? You a boy, yeah? Well, adventurous lady. Need someone ter tailored reading skills, I think. Oh, but I'd rather have this guy. No, nope. hiring her. For now. Alright, and we need to buy like repairs and stuff. Arrows, yeah, we need our arrows, and we need like some supplies and some medical stuff and some repairs, and we're all good and jovial on the stuff we have in our inventory now. We have a person that can make stuff and scream when danger is nearby. And this guy here, he's like, check it out. So we, we take this here, right? But then we do this, and you're like, whoa, what sort of clever genius are you, my friend? Or a very clever genius, this kind of clever genius we are. Mmm. Yes. Now, if I ask for her, she might actually amount to something one day. So, I'll give her a pitchfork. Okay, that's actually a half decent hour. Her hat's the same. And she can sort of like fork people from the back. Like, me, me, I got a pitchfork, see? You can also, it's actually not terrible with a bow. Unlike some people. So I'll like, drop her a bow, I'll drop her a few arrows, then she can shoot from the back and then take out Fitch Fork. Well, you could get a little stick on your hairs. With your little stick. Alright, cool. Well then. I believe I'll leave it there for today, so thank you all for watching, and next time we shall deal with these nightmares haunting this town. So, farewell. Wonderful day, lovely evening, whatever it may be to you. Love you much. Goodbye, good day. Later!